Ayo, Chicks here. It is good boss push weekend. Today we're going to show you guys how to get over 9k score in the hell difficulty. So it is right after reset. So basically we can't really check the individual rankings because no one did the good boss yet. So um but I do think the previous week's team or basically this team is going to be the number one team with the current mission so the mission is going to be 25 cards used i think that's pretty normal having enough hp that will be easily done with her and um the only annoying one is going to be the dissolve four times but that for we do have the green melascular so a lot of people were asking me last week hey what if i do or what do i do if i do not have the green melascular so i do think um the green Derriere is going to be the best choice instead because first of all she has quite good stats number one and also um number two she has the souls with a one star as well which is going to be super helpful i'm looking for the ragnarok card right now but um i can't really find that i guess it's this one uh for every debuff no this is not the right one so um we want to put this one on so that our um our Brunhild is going to hit a little bit harder once again. I'm honestly not 100% sure if this is going to be the way to go or max HP. Maybe max HP is better um, because basically she might be dealing enough damage even without this artifact set. But yeah, I would say um, we're just going to go in. So basically everyone is going to be on an HP defense build. Um, the only unit which is not is going to be the Melascula, which um, has to have or should have. 100% lifesteal in order to increase everyone's health and yeah I would say now we're going to put in HP food and we're going to go in and let's see how this goes. As usual we are going to show you guys the first turn and then we're going to jump into the second turn. So we're going to just um, burn those two cards. I was also thinking about hey what if we actually remove um, the top pieces of the Liz and Tamir because we do not want to break the shield and um, now in this case buffing up in order to increase the shield of Melascula might be not that bad and yeah basically what we want in the second turn is or optimally that we do have a two stack cleanse of the list because that will give us a lot of points but yeah for now this is going to be um in my opinion the best start let me know in the comment section what you guys think or if you do a different start or maybe even a different team i think this is horrible like the card was really really bad but um for now what we're going to do is we're going to just burn those two cards it shouldn't break yet especially now he has the um defense up and now let's just hope that um, we actually do get a list merger into the shield. That would be really nice. And once again, that it doesn't break. So yeah, here as you can see, very, very nice. We didn't do any damage with our list at all. And we actually get an instant merger into the um, list cleanse. That's very, very nice. So here as you can see, um, the reason why we don't want to break the shield is basically um that he's going to actually reapply or when he reapplies his shield that he's going to ult seal us which is going to be 20 points for every cleanse which is quite a lot of points so what we're going to do for now is definitely um i'm debating if we should be attacking with our brunhild first in order to basically um get a decent damage mark because basically if she's debuffed she does more damage so maybe we should be doing this we should be cleansing so that the detonate does more damage now um because we also do want to um get the ult of um our brunhild and now we're gonna dissolve in order to not get ulted because basically the ult actually does a decent amount of damage and we don't we really want that here very very unfortunate we did quite a lot of damage but unfortunately we did not deal the 200k damage mark i hope we are going to get the 200k damage mark here okay um that was a little bit of an overkill but i think we are still good to go so like the best card roll would be now to get another um list cleanse that would be really nice and now um we have to definitely stall a little bit because we need more drains so what we're going to do is definitely we're going to drain twice again um and um we are going to attack with our list as well i guess and i guess burning this buff to maximize our card was not bad at all so the best card would be now um still to get the um list cleanse because basically now as you can see when we attack into this steel skin we're going to get debuffed um by a two star pumpkin bomb no three star pumpkin bomb actually um because you lose two ult gauges and it's for two turns and yeah that way basically um we're not going to draw a lot of cards or at least no not going to draw ults but very very sad unfortunately it did not work we did not get a cleanse but yeah so what we're going to do for now is we're going to move to transition definitely using or by using the ult of um brunhild 
in order to uh, to heal up a little bit but i'm not sure which card i should be using right now so i really hope that this card and this card won't kill yet so that we can also just um i would say buffing no i would say we're just going to ult and i guess burning this debuff might be not that bad so i really hope we're not going to kill yet okay looks really good hopefully it's 100k um just 50k but that is what it is at least we get the drain mission now so basically um we should have all the important missions done as you can see everyone besides of our um Melascula has full health the reason for Melascula not being full health is basically because of the corrosion so now um a good card draw or it's still going to be a good card draw is if we do get more drains of not drains more cleanses of um list so this is very very unfortunate that we don't have any but for now we're just going to burn those cards we're going to move two times with brunel so that we are guaranteed that we can actually get a um or get the brunel ult so we're just going to move this to the far left so that maybe we get a merger so maybe earlier burning the um tami card might be not that bad and uh, not that good because we drew the ult and we don't really need those ults so in this turn on the previous turn you definitely want to buff so that you maximize the defense increase of um Brunhild. because something i didn't mention yet was basically that um that 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 his shield is based on his uh defense so the more he has the more damage you can kind of deal to him um or the more cards you can use to him so very very unfortunate so um in the previous turn as well is we were hoping that he attacks three times with the AOE, so with this explode, unfortunately we are going to miss one debuff. So I will just explain it again. Um, Liz is going to increase her HP based on, um, or everyone's HP based on the debuff she has, so you want as many as possible and you must not break the shield again because it's going to be the same thing as earlier. So what we're going to do for now is definitely let's just get the ult of um, Brunhild, that's the most important thing. Um, and I guess it wouldn't be bad to uh just merge this for now so that we're going to still have those drains because i think um what we're going to try next round is going to be um we are not going to use the ult we're going to use the detonate probably um and then we're going to double drain because um once again every drain does give us 50 points and if that times two that's crazy here very very nice we got two other aoe's um and basically yeah here as you can see he reapplied his shield he put in the ult seal and the double aoe so basically this is a um the second best run or second best rng you can get with this team um i will think about if i do another run and then put that into the video but um for now maybe probably not what we're going to do now is we use the detonate i really hope the detonate is going to break the shield then we're going to attack with those two in order to basically um double drain and then we're going to finish off while we are going to heal everyone to full health hopefully and then we should be good to go okay very very sad it unfortunately doesn't break it seems um so here for example um i guess i should have used another um brunhild card and then we could have ulted but yeah i'm still not 100 percent um used to this but basically as you can see the heal is really really crazy really really insane and um i think our score should be pretty decent so we have a score of 14,000. i think that's pretty fine for now um it took me like five tries that's not that bad at all and yeah i really hope everyone is having some good rng in the good boss push week if you guys plan to enter guild wars um because that's what decides or that's what makes you uh, makes you to be able to enter guild wars but yeah let's see um it seems like no one has done um guild wars yet or maybe it only refreshes every half an hour but yeah i really hope that this was helpful you enjoyed watching this uh, thank you so much for tuning in and peace out for now